Well, there has been a lot of talk of delimitation in the conversation uh, surrounding the women's reservation bill. You know, how the number of seats will change, what states will be impacted and whether there will be a significant change in the number of seats allocated in the north states versus the south states. So, here we have tried to make projections uh, or based on how the lo looks of our numbers will change post delimitation in 2026. So, first let's talk about the methodology. Here we have taken the health ministry's population projection to calculate how many Lok Sabha seats will be added after delimitation. But first, let's look at the timeline of delimitation first. So, according to the 91st Amendment of the Constitution, which happened in 2022, delimitation can only happen in 2026 and only then will Lok Sabha seats be increased. So, this is why we, we've used population projections for 2026. And according to those projections, India's population in 2026 will be around 142 crore people. Uh, now, with the current population, if we divide it by the current 543 seats, then we'll have 26 lakh people per Lok Sabha seat. Uh, but this ratio, according to the 2001 census, was 18 lakh people per Lok Sabha seat. So, there we have an increase of 38.5% um, between the populations of 2001 and 2026. So, when this increase in, in population is seen in terms of seats, that would mean an increase of 210 seats. So, uh, we'll go from our current 543 seats plus those 210 extra seats, which makes 753 Lok Sabha seats in 2026. Let's also note that there has been no change in the number of Lok Sabha seats in the last 50 years, which means since 1977. So, how will this increase translate in different parts of the country? First, let's look at the southern states and let's remember uh, political leaders from the south like DMK MP Kanimuri also raised the concern that delimitation would, re would reduce out seats in the Lok Sabha. Uh, so, let's take a look. Karnataka, let's start with Karnataka. Karnataka currently has 28 seats. After delimitation, it will have 36 seats. So, that's 8 more seats. Kerala, on the other hand, currently has 20 seats, but after delimitation, it will have 19. And perhaps, you know, that could be because of Kerala's successful family planning policies. Of course, so the population has gone down. So that's a deduction of one seat. Telangana currently has 17 seats. After delimitation, it will have 20. So that's three more seats. Andhra Pradesh currently has 25 seats. After delimitation, it will have 28. So that's, again, three more seats. Uh, Tamil Nadu currently has 39 seats. After delimitation, it will have 41 so again, that's an increase of two seats. Now, let's see what's happening in the big North Indian states. Uttar Pradesh currently has the maximum seats in the Lok Sabha. It's 80 seats. After delimitation, it will have a whopping um, 128 seats. So that's 48 more seats in 2026. Bihar currently has 40 seats. After delimitation, it will have 70. So that's 30 more seats. Um, Madhya Pradesh currently has 29. After delimitation, it will have 47. So that's 18 more seats for that state. Uh, Maharashtra currently has 48 seats. After de delimitation, it will have 68. So that's 20 more seats. Uh, Rajasthan has 25 seats. In 2026, uh, it, it will have 44. So that's 19 more seats. And uh, finally, Gujarat at 26 seats currently, which will go up to 39 seats. Uh, that's 13 more seats after delimitation. Among other big states, West Bengal will also see uh, a large jump of 11 seats from the current 42 to 53 seats in 2026. Uh, now let's look at the overall change in the number of seats across the country. So here you can see the map. You've got uh, number of seats here as per the current Lok Sabha uh, 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 breakup. That's 543 seats. And uh, let's go to the second map now where we can see the increase in each state. Uh, again, we, as I mentioned earlier, Kerala is the only state that's actually going to see deduction in seats from 20 to 19. Uh, most other states are going to change. Um, Himachal Pradesh, uh, though, on the other hand, is going to stay the same with four seats. But really, the big takeaway here um, is that 128 on your screens, that huge number, Uttar Pradesh, which is going to have a massive jump from 80 seats to 128 seats.